Are you thinking of thin? Then think HP. Hey guys, this is Rifa. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to review my new laptop HP Spectre X360 2-in-1. Taking cue from last year's HP Spectre, even the 2017 version sports a metal unibody design. The almost HDS display is gorgeous with only 3.4mm gap on the side. It has a glossy Full HD IPS panel at 1920x1080 which helps with good battery life. The screen is evenly lit and has great viewing angles. Top of the display we have a Full HD webcam which is used to log in using facial recognition or Windows Hello. It has two IR lights to help in all conditions. The Windows Hello experience has been great except for times when there is a big light behind me. This 13 inch HP Spectre is probably the nicest looking among all the ultrabooks available on the market and is cheapest in its class. I got this laptop for $1100 during back to school sales from HP's website. Coming to the I.O. of this laptop, on the right side we have two USB-C Thunderbolt 3 ports. On the left we have one USB 3.1 for legacy systems. The drawback at this laptop is we don't have HDMI or SD card slot and for that we need to buy dongles like this. Keyboard is one of the best I have used and it has ample key travel and keys feel compact and solid. It has backlit button which gives good contrast with the dark keyboard. The typing experience on this laptop has been good. We have an extra set of page up, page down, home and end keys on the right. HP uses Synaptic White trackpad rather than the Windows Precision drivers. But I am not complaining since the gestures on this trackpad work flawlessly and give butter smooth experience. Coming to audio, HP has partnered with Bang & Olufsen and we have 4 speakers, 2 on the top and 2 on the bottom. When you are in tablet mode, only bottom speakers work and they are pretty loud. And you can tune these speakers with inbuilt Bang & Olufsen application. This is a convertible and you can use it as a tablet. HP says you can use it in 4 modes, laptop, movie, presentation and tablet. I have rarely used this as tablet but whenever I have used it, it never felt awkward cause this machine is very light at only 2.8 pounds. The battery life on this laptop is 8 hours but if you run out of charge and if you need a quick charge with available fast charging technology on board and with HP 65W adapter you can get up to 50% of charge within 30 minutes. This is the stylus which comes with the laptop. It has two programmable buttons. HP says it has 2048 levels of pressure sensitivity. The writing and drawing experience with this stylus has been good. The model I have is sporting a 7th gen Intel Core i7 KB Deck chip with Intel HD620 integrated graphics. And on the CPU and storage side, we have 16GB of LPDDR3 RAM and Samsung's 512GB NVMe PCIe SSD. If you haven't noticed, YouTube has changed their logo. You can find it behind my head or on the top left of your screen. As promised, this is the review of my new laptop HP Spectre X360 2-in-1. If you like this video, please drop a like, leave a comment and leave your feedback and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you. Have a good one.